Okay, well here we're going to look at uh, Hercules' labors, or actually just one of Hercules' 12 labors, and how they have found a recent altar, which appears to be uh, for his son uh, of mythology, and showing him doing the same type of thing, and we'll make a few discussions of it, I guess you see. Uh, here, a picture of him where he is wearing the Aegis, or the uh, pelt of the lion, and he doesn't have it cowled around his head yet. Uh, here's the Hydra, and here's his uh, helper, which was his charioteer, I believe. And he was going to burn, after he lopped each head off, he was going to burn or cauterize it. So let's take a look into this, and I'll tell you some symbology and how this works and fits together somewhat. Also, always drawn is a crab that's done here that he tries to pinch at his foot, and then he uh, squishes him and so on. So this is uh, like father, like son. The, an altar shows heroic son of Hercules slaying a many-headed hydra. A second century altarpiece carved in marble and showing a strong man battling a monster has been found near a river by villagers in Turkey. Experts think the mythic scene may depict Bargassos, a son of the hero Hercules, doing battle with a hydra to invoke the river god Harpasos. Now, this has to do with the harpies and things too, by the way, and the women that were there, but that's probably for another video on just harpies. But An inscription across the top dedicates the altar to Harpasos. Live Science reports that villagers found the altar near the river Ake in an area that was controlled by the Roman Empire in the second century. The altar was carved at the behest of a man named Flavius Olides, and the river it was called the Harpasos. And here's a picture of it. You can see the carving that's on top of it here, how he has that Romanesque Greek style of helmet that's on him, basically naked other than that, and then apparently a swathed around his body here is maybe that lion's pelt, but it doesn't look like it. Things are so worn over time you can easily tell the shielding in here you can see a six pack and stuff going on but the heads of the hydra are worn off some broken off uh, like here and so on which probably had a few of them sticking up but it uh, looks like it is that depiction that is there son of hercules does battle with a many headed hydra in a scene from an ancient altar found in turkey so this battle recalls the hercules's own fight with the hydra which i'm telling you is somewhat zodiacal in reference and I'll get into that here shortly. According to a dream, Fabius Olades set up this to the god Harpasos. That's what it says on the Greek inscription that's right along the top of the altar. As a result of a communication with the river god Harpasos in a dream, Flavius Olades was requested to dedicate an altar, wrote Professor Hassan Malay of uh, Edge University in Turkey. An archaeologist, Funda Ettergirl of the Adian Museum, in the journal Epigraphica Anatolica. They believe that Flavius Olades was a firm believer in Harpasos, the god of the river, and so he's a river god, and there's always this slaying of a river god that you have to do, and whenever you're going to cross it, you have to either appease or slay a river god in ancient tales. It even goes to uh, the Bible where Jacob reaches a certain river and he stops because of a situation and wrestles with a god all night. All of these type of things go along with this ancient river god type thing that uh, is carried through a lot of folklore and tales and utilized in that way. Quite often with nymphs and things so it can go one way or it can go the other and things like that too. Let's look into this some more here. They wrote that Flavius may have been asking Harpasos for a good harvest or protection for himself or for his animals from flooding or from falling down the steep slopes or curing of his, uh, from its healing waters of the, the lake. Like, uh, you know, you, you always want to have a healing uh, lake and this um, fountain of youth and things like that. So as one of his 12 labors, one uh, Hercules also battled a hydra, a serpentine monster with many heads in the Lernia Marsh. After Hercules defeated the hydra, the marsh was drained and became cultivable and was put to good use. Now there's a strange thing that goes along with this because there was supposedly like 
eight tribes of people that were around the thing and one group that was their king and he tried to fight one of them in, in, in ancient battles they fought one of them but then it, it never ended and stuff and so what ended up having to happen was they fought them and burned down each one of the villages as they worked their way to the center and there's your concept of that but I'll give you another one here in a minute um, here's Hercules again uh, in an Orion pose if you will and that kind of gives you a hint to what's going on here he is in the Lernia Marsh fighting this Hydra which in this picture uh, looks like it has cat faces with bat ears and a dragon tongue on each one of these snake heads that are coming up out of this serpentine creature which is said to have hooked itself around his leg wrapped itself around his leg which is a hint to what the reality is of what happened and the crab that he's supposed to squish apparently is not really a crab anymore in this picture but Hercules and the Hydra in 1475 the altar found in Turkey shows Bargesos, a son of Hercules and Barge. And this shows you where the concept of a river barge comes from. And the concept of merchants bargaining comes from linguistics concept. Floating down a Milky Way river. Fighting the Hydra with a shield and a dagger. He is wearing nothing except a crested helmet. The altar is of one and a half feet wide by two feet high and is done in the AD and is found in the Adian Museum in Turkey now. Ettergirl and Malay wrote that the story of Bargesos and the Hydra is similar to that told of his father. Uh, the Harpesos River had many tributaries in a sandy landscape and was comparable to the area around the Limna Marsh in Greece. It's possible the researchers wrote that after the battle the river god Harpesos was first invoked. The scene on our altar may be a representation of a local myth telling about Bargesus' fight against the ravaging river with many arms on the river. Malay and Integral wrote in his paper, so in other words, taming the river with its deltas and so on. The river turned into a beneficial deity, Harpesos, the recipient of our dedication. And so uh, people uh, tamed the river and or defeated the river people tamed the sea or defeated the sea god yam and ancient merchants and ancient phoenicians were masters of the sea and so they had taken that power to themselves if you will to another level and then people would give appeasements to the sea as in the story of throwing jonah to the whale and so on like that well let's continue an ancient town in Turkey was named Bargasa in the sun's army, honor. In ancient belief, the Hydra had nine heads, and if one was lopped off, two grew back immediately in its place, so it seemed impossible to defeat. Hercules solved this dilemma by having his chariot driver press burning brands, so here's a sun chariot concept, burning brands the sum, sum, uh, stumps after he chopped off the heads, preventing regeneration. And so now we also see an idea maybe that they had something to do with um, the idea of cauterizing wounds. If somebody got their arm cut off and things like that. So you can see that concept in here. Now when we look at this, this is showing you that river that we were talking about right up next to a castle apparently. So it's almost the moat, if you will. And these crabs, they're coming up. And one of them went to attack him and got him on his ankle. This had wrapped its tentacle around him, if you will, hint, hint. And then this thing, which looks like a big crustacean, has all these heads sticking out of it. He's lopping them all off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well, there's one cut off there, and he's burning that one right there. So there's your eight and nine. In the story, he lops one off, and apparently two grow back, so there would have been ten, but they're never going to show you that because it's got another concept. Well, if you've realized that after you did the 10, be 11, then there'd be 12, and they would have worked their way back down off of that, but that's zodiacal also, and the concept that goes with this. Now, if you look at uh, the zodiac, you can go around and around the zodiac telling a tale where you can say, here's Orion, and then here's the crab cancer, 
and he tries to pinch his leg and then the one thing that's missing is this giant snake that you don't see and what we don't know is Ophiuchus is a 13th zodiac that you can look up O-P-H-I-A-C-U-S Ophiuchus and it'll show you a man defeating a serpent and so there's where you get that idea and the zodiac will complain that goes along with it and so on but uh, there's even a little more to this too because it had nine heads but really it only had eight and then one central head so there he is burning the stump on him and everything so pseudo Apollodorus a Greek mythographer of the second century wrote about the great battle he said for his second labor Heracles was instructed to slay the Larnian Hydra the beast was nurtured in the marshes of Lerna from where she would go out into the flatland and raid flocks and ruin the land. So they had to fix this. They had to civilize the area better, pull it under one. The hydra was enormous size with eight mortal heads and a ninth one in the middle that was immortal. With Lalos driving, Hercules rode a chariot to Lernia and there, stopping the horses, he found the hydra on a ridge beside the springs of Anemone where she nested. So here we have a river nymph that's there too, and it's Amy, Amy Moni instead of Anemone, but pretty much the exact same thing, and that's where the difference comes from. And anemone is really a flower of the ocean, right? So it's a, a flower. By throwing flaming spears at her, he forced her to emerge, and as he did, he was able to catch a hold but she hung up on, uh, up on him by wrapping herself around one of his feet, and he was unable to help matters by striking her with his club, for as soon as one head was pounded off, the other two would grow back in its place. Then a giant crab came along to help the hydra and bit Hercules on the foot. For this he killed the crab and called on his own behalf to Lalos for help. Lalos made some torches by setting a fire to a portion of the adjoining woods. So this shows you the conquest concept. And by using these to burn the buddings of the heads, he kept them from growing. Like people. And culling people off by burning their towns down and things too. So it has a triple connotation to it. Maybe even more. And then there's the Aesop's fabley concepts that are into these things too. So when he had overcome this problem, Hercules lopped off the immortal head which he buried and covered with a heavy boulder at the side of the road that runs through Lernia and Alaos. And that has to do with L and L of the Bible and how L is God and so on of it. So it, it really has a connotation that shows you the Greek connection to all of that. He cut up the Hydra's body and dipped arrows into its venom and so now we're talking about in warfare being able to use because people can maybe pull an arrow out and, and and things like that but if I poison it then that changes the situation totally doesn't it so another effect here too guys is something to think about now this goes with a sun worship concept and it goes with a zodiacal idea that's going on and if we take the sun concept and know that the sun wheel is shown in most places as being an eight spoked wheel so what we find Hercules doing is conquering the Zodiac and going around like a sun would. That's what a sun travers as it does through the ecliptic, going through the ages of the Zodiac, right? But then that sun has eight spokes to it, but then it has a center to it all. And I'm guessing that's God, if you will, right? But then there's another idea, too. You can take an idea of an octopus because it wraps his leg around his tentacle leg you know and everything the way it's described there and this could be him fighting an octopus now it doesn't make any sense that there's a river octopus in any way shape or form does there well no there doesn't but then again there's eight tentacles on an octopus right so this is that sun symbolism even in, a, in an animal here but you can cut off its arms and they can regenerate of an octopus and it doesn't kill him to do so but you know, got to kill him you've got to poke him right in the head well and then uh, of course octopuses can ink too and that has more to do with it also but so kind of a strange story there but uh, the neat thing here is that they found this 
and it has to do with barges, bargisa, bargaining, and a lot of things. And hopefully whenever we do a video like this, not only do you get to learn that, hey, they found a new thing from Hercules, but you get to find out a whole lot more in connections and the way things really kind of came about off of ancient mythology. Like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy. Peace.